Hey folks, Stuart Caro here. How did my little adventure go? You've seen the results, I'm about to do it now. I hope it turns out well. I'm particularly excited to see those shots of the Insta360 ONE X film the Mavic 2 Pro as we fly along. I did some tests in the house there before I came out and I think it's going to work. You'll know by now if it did. Sorry, it's been a while since I've posted something here on YouTube. I've been in my sick bed. Our lovely little toddler is bringing back so many germs from the nursery, which is so much fun. But I've been busy. Uh, check out the link in the description below. We've put together an ebook, a 40 page ebook from drone zero to drone hero. It's really cool, really nicely done, beautiful to look at. And there's 37 tips in there to really get you flying better, get you flying like a filmmaker, accelerate the process, learn from our experience and our mistakes. It's free, so I'd definitely check out that link in the description below. It's a bit of fun, I think you'll enjoy it. So check this out people, Mavic 2 Pro Insta360 ONE X. There's this little harness under here, little plastic harness, it's an accessory that you can get for the Insta360 ONE X. And I'm not going to lie, it's a pretty flimsy piece of kit, but it's clipped on underneath there, it looks pretty, pretty solid. And this stick coming out the side with the camera. Now, because of the way the 360 camera splices the two lenses together, it gets rid of anything directly underneath the camera. That's how you can walk around with the selfie stick and you don't see the selfie stick. The principle is the same here. It gets rid of all of this apparatus under the camera. As long as the camera is pointed straight out like this, we can also put it on the top here and we can swing this around and dangle it underneath. So let's get this up in the air and see how we get on. So here's the raw footage from the Insta360 ONE X. As you can see, the colors are a little bit ropey, so I've put a lot on all of this footage from here on in. Now, just to be clear, I'm not trying to replace the camera on the Mavic 2 Pro. All I'm doing is trying to get these selfie shots of the drone, which I think are amazing. The 360 functionality lets you swing around the camera like this in post-production. Remember, it's filming everywhere. The quality is pretty decent, all things considered. But as I said, this was what I wanted. Look at that shot, I think that is the coolest thing, I really do. But if you do want to just film virtual reality or 360 footage, you get a good picture as well. I tell you what, that was quite exciting. When I took it off though, I did see a ton of vibration going through the camera. Now, the stabilization on this Insta360 ONE X is amazing. Uh, but there's a reason they've given us this extra mounting plate. If I can find it in here somewhere. Yes, there's a reason they've given us this extra mounting plate with little shocks reminiscent of the old H2 3D or H3 3D gimbals that you used to get for GoPros that attach to Phantom 2s. It's to take all the shock out of it and the vibration out of it. I'm going to put this on because I don't want to come here and get bad footage. I didn't put it on initially because I don't think we'll be able to look back at the drone with this mounting plate on because you'll see this mounting plate is too big to be obscured by the uh, composition of the two. 200 degree lenses on 360 degree camera if you get what I mean, but anyway I'm going to put this on now and we're going to change the configuration so the camera's sitting on the top and the camera's sitting on the bottom and we'll see what we'll get. I'll be right back. Now we're going to integrate this in between this little stick and the camera. Okay you can see here we've got some vibration control there. Now 
that's clearly not going to work. That's not going to be able to film backwards and get rid of all of this. So I'm not even going to try that. Let's just swing this down and try this, which is what it's designed for, taking the vibration out of this little arrangement here. I'm not going to take this too far away just in case. So we'll get this up in the air and then we'll flick it around and put it on top and we'll see how that goes. This is the correct configuration if you're going for 360 drone footage. In post-production you can do these swing around manoeuvres, kind of course lock almost. Again, if you were doing proper 360 or virtual reality, this is how you would configure the drone. I've been playing around here with these shots. I mean, they're good. I would never do this instead of using DJI functionality, if I'm honest. The picture quality is not good enough. There's just no need to, but it was a good experiment. What I was really interested in was getting shots of the drone whilst flying, and as you can see, we have a problem. You can see the stitch line, and it's not done it accurately, and we've got that big shock-absorbing bracket, just like I suspected. Well, it's still attached, so that's a flipping relief. Seems to have done the job. Certainly won't have done any harm. As I say, the stabilisation on this 361X is absolutely amazing. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it around and stick it on top of the Mavic 2 now. A bit like in the first configuration, the only reason you would do this is if you're trying to film the drone itself, which was exactly the purpose of this exercise. And I love these shots. I think they're the coolest thing ever. I really do. It's my personal preference, but I just think it's great. If you're trying to get proper footage, you would hang the camera underneath. Look there, you can see the stitch line of the 360 camera. I mean, there's limitations, but I mean, look at that shot. I just think that's super. I'm a little bit cold, but I've had a lot of fun today just playing around with something new, seeing what we can get out of a 360 camera. Is it a toy or is it a professional tool? I personally think it's a fantastic professional tool and the creative opportunities presented by 360 have not been fully explored yet. For me, two things need to happen. The resolution needs to improve so that when we crop in uh, to get rid of all the fisheye stuff, then we don't lose too much resolution. And also the post-production workflow is a little bit cumbersome, uh, but now's not the time to chat about that. I definitely recommend you check out 360 and try and just do more with it and just expand your creative horizons. This has been great for me because I've been doing this a while and you get a little bit set in your ways. So anything that's new and creative is good fun. Check out that free ebook that we did from Drone Zero to Drone Hero 37 Drone Tips. It's free, link in the description below. You definitely want to check that out. We have some more goodies on the way to thank you if you do get yourself a copy of that. And until next time, happy flying.